I was out mowing and I noticed my battery indicator light came on which tells me I've got a problem with the charging system somewhere in this unit. When you test a properly operating charging system at the battery, which I'm showing you here, you should have at least 12 DC volts at idle and up to 13, 14, or even 15 DC volts at full throttle. So the first thing I did was went ahead and tested the battery. And I know the battery's good. I had just charged it up. It's only a year and a half old. I keep it charged over the winter. And right now it's only reading 11.89 DC volts. But I know it's good. It just got run down because I was out mowing. So a real easy way to check and see if your charging system's working is to go ahead and start it up. Put it at full throttle. And you definitely should get more than 12 volts at these two connections here. When I'm testing a battery or something on a 12 volt system, set your multimeter to DC volts and I set it to 20 because we're looking for 12 volts around that on the battery and the charging system on this unit should be around 14 or 15 volts. Now I know the battery is not charging so the first thing I'm going to test is the stator which is the charging unit in the flywheel of the engine. I'm going to switch this over to AC volts and I'm taking the lowest number and coming out of the stator you want around 30 AC volts. So we'll go ahead and test that. To test your stator and your voltage regulator you want to find the voltage regulator that's probably mounted on the side of your engine. That's it right there, that square box right there. Now on that, for this Kawasaki engine, there's three connectors. The top two, which are right here, together are the two wires that go up underneath your flywheel to the stator. We're going to pop that off, put the two probes from our multimeter in that, not on the voltage regulator, but in this connection, we've got it set on AC volts, and we're going to start it up, run it at full throttle, and we should get around 30 AC volts if the stator and stator wiring is okay. All right, I unplugged the stator wire connector from the voltage regulator, and I've connected the positive and negative probe from my multimeter to that wire connector. We'll start the engine and check our AC volts from the stator. And like I said, at full throttle, it should read around 30 AC volts. Our stator is fine. Now we'll check the voltage regulator. With our stator reconnected, those two wires are reconnected here. Now I'm going to touch the probe to this single wire which comes from the voltage regulator as DC volts and it should be, like I said, 14, 15 DC volts when charging at full throttle. We'll set our multimeter back to DC volts. 20 DC volts.
and we're not good there. Now what that tells me is either I've got a bad voltage regulator or I've got a problem with the wire going from the voltage regulator to the battery. The way I'm going to test that is disconnect that wire from the voltage regulator. I'm going to touch my positive probe to that wire, the negative probe from the multimeter to the negative side of the battery, and I'm going to turn the ignition key on. You don't need to start the engine, just turn it to on, and you should have 12 DC volts or whatever your battery is on that wire. Okay, as you can see I've got that wire connected, but while we're here, one other thing I want to point out is, you see this wire right here? That wire is a ground wire from your voltage regulator and it should ground to your engine. Oftentimes this wire can fray or get disconnected and that can be your problem. So you want to make sure that your voltage regulator is properly grounded and this one is. Now let's check the wire. Okay I've got everything hooked up. Of course it's going to read zero because I have not turned the ignition key on yet. I'm going to turn it on now. The key is on and I still have zero which tells me I've got a problem somewhere in that wire between the end of that wire connector going through the ignition switch and ultimately to the battery. Now there's one other test I'm going to do just to confirm that. Now what I'm going to do is take this wire that I made I'm going to connect this to the lead on the voltage regulator, the DC out lead on the voltage regulator, and the other end to the positive side of the battery. Then at the battery, I'm going to test what we have for voltage at idle and then as I throttle up. If it moves, that'll tell me that my voltage regulator is okay because I'm bypassing all the wiring through the ignition switch and everything else getting to the battery. Let's do that now. I've got my lead connected there and I'll connect it to the positive side of the battery. We'll start the engine and check our voltmeter. We have 11.77 DC volts. Battery's draining down. Go ahead and start it up. I didn't take it all the way up, but you can see that tells me the voltage regulator is working, the stator is working. I've got a problem somewhere between that wire connector and the battery. I want to mention to you at this point, most of the time when you've got a charging problem, if it's not a frayed wire like that ground wire I pointed out to you, voltage regulators don't last forever and typically that's the problem you're going to run into. To change out that voltage regulator there's just two screws. You unscrew those two screws, disconnect the wires, put your new one in there, screw it down, connect the wires and you're set to go. Now let's keep digging and see if we can find out what the problem with this one is. So I'm going to see if my problem's in the ignition switch or the wire between the ignition switch and the voltage regulator. With this disconnected, the first thing I want to do is check my fuses. 
Make sure they're all okay. Now to visually check these fuses, you want to look right in the middle here. And that wire should not be broken. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a wire going in between there. There should be no break in that wire. Another way you can check your fuses is to take your multimeter and switch it over to ohms. I go to 20K on the ohms and touch the leads one to one side and one to the other side and you should get a reading of zero or close to it if there's no break in that. So this one's good. Now some of these fuses are kind of gummed up. I'm going to clean it up. Could be a bad connection in the fuse. So I'm going to clean up these fuses. Make sure I have a good connection. Now with the key off and the fuse out, I'm going to go ahead and clean the fuse box. I noticed it's quite dirty. Now we'll give that a minute to dry. This stuff evaporates real fast. Got these all cleaned up. Now I'll temporarily just set this back in place. Connect my voltmeter back. Got the black to negative. The red going to the wire. I set this back on DC volts, 20. Let's go ahead and test and see if that made a difference. Put the key back in. Turn the meter on. Zero. Keys off. Key on. Oh! Hey! <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I think we found the problem. Let's go ahead and hook everything back up and see if the battery's charging. All right, with things pretty much put back together, we're on DC volts, 20. I've got the negative hooked up there. Got the positive here. We already got that reading. Go ahead and start it up. Oh, that's